and dear students in the last classes we have seen two types of agro advisories preparation one is with the receipt of the weather forecast for 5 days from the organization at the agromet field units considering the crop stages crop other interaction the people responsible people prepare agro advisories and communicate to the farmers through sms in the second case a prototype was uh, discussed wherein as a case study from tamil nadu the weather windows have been identified earlier through permutation and combination process and by that for tamil nadu they have identified 54 weather windows which covers the entire seasons all seasons of an year and simultaneously agro advisories for these 54 weather windows for 109 crops have been prepared and also put it in the server the server one server is exclusively meant for developing weather forecast for 5 days by using the regional climate model by getting data automatically from the automated weather station fitted established in the concern plot so this computer after uh, selection the server after uh, developing the weather forecast goes to the weather in the weather window concerned weather window is selected and uh, any crop is needed the crop concerned crop is being considered and the agro advisory is automatically communicated to the farmers through sms everything automated at one end uh, our scientist and the other end the farmer in between all uh, interfaced with all machines and servers and everything now it is a third type it is being done at farm level especially at uh, australia this response farming see a type of farming system i can say farm planning is being practiced at australia till now it has been developed by stewart et al there it's a good concept since uh, the individual uh, land holding is more than 5000 hectares in australia this system is going on very well with that uh, country but this was also just at uh, about 20 years back in india but somehow it was not uh, taken by our farmers due to many reasons but it is a wonderful technology it can be practiced at the farm level if the farmer is uh, very much uh, knowing the information about response farming let us discuss today this type of farming this is very very good here you are combining the seasonal climate forecast with the individual farm decisions no intervention from uh, any agro advisory institution or anything else the farmer himself prepares the agro advisory based on the weather information he obtains from the concerned meteorological organization of that country in respect of india this is uh, india meteorology department if you go to australia the bureau of meteorology like that different countries uh, have their own meteorological organization they provide seasonal climate forecast here only they consider the seasonal climate forecast of a season or in terms of india it is long term or long range weather forecast being considered so here the people uh, many people tried to give definition now i like to go to one example you know drought drought means uh, no rainfall uh, no dryness everything for this situation more than 100 definitions are available around the world similarly for this response farming also we could be able to spell out uh, too many definitions but i have um, screened and I like to provide uh, about two or three so that you can understand what is response farming one is framing flexible adaptation strategies adaptation very very important word for the forthcoming rainy season so you are preparing yourself you are meeting the challenge from the forthcoming seasons that is a definition the second one is it is a methodology that identifies very very important critical word and quantify seasonal rainfall related risk so in advance you are able to identify the forthcoming seasonal rainfall risk 
and you can develop the strategies for addressing them at farm level. This is very, very important. Farm level means individual farmers level. Then the third definition says that coupling seasonal rainfall forecast with appropriate agronomic responses. How the terminology gets differed? So, when they define the response farming means you can be able to understand what is response farming by different sources. And another uh, definition is given by somebody, it is a flexible system of farming in which key farm decisions, key important priority decisions affecting crop water utilization. See, we were uh, discussing about crop water requirement when we were discussing about rainfall. I was uh, telling that rice requires about uh, 1400 mm, pulses is 200. So, based on the forthcoming rainfall season, you estimate what would be the available water. Accordingly, you can select your crop for that season. This is the apt definition for this. One more definition is, it focuses on water and its management form level similar to A and B. Then these are the some definition given, but to overall response, you are responding to my questions. Similar that, response forming is not met. In response to the forthcoming seasonal rainfall, what you do at your farm, we call it as response farming. Now, there must be a hypothesis. This was tested experimentally at Australia. They put a hypothesis that solution to farming problems may be found. It is possible. That is, solution to farming problems may be found for improved forecast of expected seasonal rainfall behavior in the cropping season. Very nice. You can be able to select or you can be able to provide a solution for the risk to be received from the forthcoming rainfall season. This is a wonderful hypothesis. Whether it is possible or not, it was tested and this, uh, it was, uh, this hypothesis was uh, agreed that solutions are already available. So, you can pick up the solutions based on your knowledge, based on the scientific knowledge to meet the challenge from the forthcoming rainfall season. Then there must be a aim also. Very wonderfully they have put it, exploiting the high rainfall potential. If rain comes more, how to use it? Can you store it? Can you conserve it without losing to any sea or ocean? So, exploiting the high seasonal rainfalls. You change your land use pattern. You change your cropping pattern from pulses to rice to exploit the high rainfall and minimizing the risk of crop failures during the poor rainfall season. So, you are meeting both situations. I was telling about weather code, drought code and the flood code. So, response farming covers both codes also. So, this is how this is the response farming is like that. Very, very important to be considered. Then which forecast is suitable? We have studied now cost, then short range forecast, then mid range forecast of a different in nature that is a regional climate model, numerical weather prediction and also long range forecast, seasonal climate forecast. So, we have learned a little bit on these forecast types. What are the forecast would be highly suitable for this response farming is your long range weather forecast and seasonal forecast because they have lead time 45 to 15 days earlier to the season you could be able to smell this is the quantity of rainfall you are going to get it. So, by that time you can prepare yourself for meeting the challenge. So, you can uh, take a land use pattern. See normally the farmer in Australia they cultivate wheat. If a, if a farmer has a 5000 hectares, he may cultivate 2000 hectares wheat. Suppose there is a drought, then he will reduce the area to 1000 hectares or 500 hectares. Even they call out the animals. When the drought is anticipated, they may have 50,000 blocks or 5,000 cattle, they may mercilessly they reduce the cattle number to 100 or 50. So, that forage can be fed in the case of the drought. So, they prepare themselves for the forthcoming seasonal rainfall. You can select a technology. If drought comes, means you can select a drought 
uh, management technology like that. Many things are uh, available in uh, uh, scientific uh, uh, knowledge. So those can be rightly utilized for this purpose. Then where response farming useful? Can we practice in humid uh, climate? I was saying humid climate. In humid climate, rainfall uh, and uh, PET, potential air transpiration, are equal, same. If it is uh, 2000 mm uh, your rainfall, the evaporation also 2000 mm, there is no imbalance, equality. So, it cannot be practiced in humid environment. It can be practiced in year 8, where the rainfall is lesser than 50 percent of the potential evapotranspiration annual basis. Semi arid, it is 0 0.5 to 0 0.8. I, I told already, you kindly refer uh, uh, your uh, earlier uh, class notes. Then regions with climate variability. This is very, very important. Variability means change in the climate. Now, I can explain between the climate change and the climate variability. Earlier, we have uh, pendulum clocks. So, the pendulum oscillates like this. So, pendulum is here, it goes to positive direction, it comes to negative direction, then comes to middle. This is the climate variable. This may be 5 years, come to normal, the negative side 5 years, come to normal. So, oscillating normal code, your drought code and the flood code, this we call it as climate variability. In the case of the climate change, the pendulum weather goes to minus stays there permanently. The mean stays there, does not come to the normality. That is the climate change. So, this technology is highly useful in the case of the climate uh, variability. I think you must have understand the difference between these two things. So, response farming must be highly suitable for this uh, situation and also certain villages by having the indigenous knowledge, they have developed uh, the, um, the strategies against flood and drought. See, we were discussing uh, yesterday, I hope, climate managers, such wonderful people are, are still available in certain villages and uh, they have uh, tailored uh, certain technologies, local technologies to meet the weather aberration uh, situations. Now, uh, additional tool, what other tools you want in addition to seasonal uh, climate uh, rainfall forecast, you, would, uh, you must have a document on answer time, when the rainfall is going to set in in a particular village or particular domain. Then uh, these are some statistical conditional probability of rainfall. Conditional probability of rainfall means if some rainfall, you fix a certain quantity of rainfall, whether it comes or not, that is a conditional probability. If the probability of uh, your fixed rainfall is 30 percent means you may not expect that amount of rainfall. If the conditional probability, probability is more than 90 percent, then you get definitely that rainfall, you can decide your uh, farm decision making process. Then uh, probability of uh, initial probability of season rainfall, then rainfall return period, then length of growing period, form size information, land use pattern. These are all optional. If you do not have, do not worry, you get your seasonal climate forecast and do your farm decision making at your farm level that seems to be very excellent. Now, I like to produce a case study from Koyamutu whether the response farming was very good or bad. So, the normal crop of a particular village, I am talking about a village not individual, the normal crop of the particular village is rice during October, November. They get in addition to rainfall water support from your ground water. The normal rainfall of the village is 420 during this season. So, 420 millimeter, rice needs about 1400 millimeter. So, excess is being obtained from the ground water. The seasonal climate forecast is says for the village that the village is going to get only 250 mm rainfall against 420. So, deficit, only 50 percent of the, the normal rainfall the farmers are going to get. So, farmers response to Asia what the farmers have decided. 80 percent of the farmers did not believe our forecast, they went for rice and 20 percent listened to our forecast and they went for black rice. This was 80 percent farmers went for conventional rice cultivation, 
20 percent having understood in the importance of weather forecast, they had gone to black run. What happened? The rainfall was around 250 millimeter as forecasted and the rice whoever raised they met with failures and the fellow who raised black ram came with success. So, here cost of cultivation farmer with black ram this is per acre or 4000 meters it is around 5000 rupees. The fellow rice farmer along with the nursery development everything he went up to 12000 rupees. Revenue this fellow has uh, got uh, 7500 while this because of the crop failure he did not get anything. So, gains to the farmer of the black ram is this 7400 and uh, this cost of cultivation. So, 19500 minus your cost of cultivation. So, net gain is 14500 by listening to the forecast. Is it not wonderful of uh, doing the response warming in the case of considering the seasonal rainfall? So, this is a best opportunity to utilize uh, this uh, mode. So, you use the agro advices whether it is uh, coming from institution or through automated mode or uh, through the response farming. You do weather wise farming system and uh, get uh, reduce the risk and get your crop success that is all. Thank you very much.